Hello everyone, this is Dan, your resident Digimon fan. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I wanted to talk about the Vital Bracelet once again. It's been a while since I've talked about the Vital Bracelet, and I haven't actually shown my Vital Bracelet B on camera, so I do have the Vital Bracelet B, specifically the Digivice VV, which came with the Gammon DIM. And today, I wanted to talk about something. As far as I'm concerned, Bandai has killed the Vital Bracelet. Now, that's not to say that they're not releasing more DIM cards, uh, they're not releasing new interesting designs for the Vital Bracelet, and of course with the introduction of the Vital Bracelet B, they have included some new properties, not just Digimon, but things like, uh, I think, Demon Slayer, and did I see One Piece? I might have made that up, but they, they do have some other um, Bandai intellectual properties included in the B. So it's not to say that they aren't making progress in that direction, but in terms of my usage of the Vital Bracelet and the enjoyment that I've had out of collecting for and uh, making videos about the Vital Bracelet, the B absolutely killed it for me in a negative way, not the positive way of killing something. So I'm just going to run through some of the things that I do like about the Vital Bracelet B in comparison to the uh, original Vital Bracelet. Now, bear in mind, I never had the uh, Digivice V, so I am comparing the Vital Bracelet B with the very first original Vital Bracelet, so there will be some main differences in here. So let's have a quick look. So I actually have a Digimon in here at the moment. Uh, I can't remember its name because I only know it's in Japanese. It's the final mega evolution of Jellymon from the Jellymon DIM. So first off the bat, if I'm being honest, I prefer the text on the original one. It's easier to read, it's not in italics, it's bigger, and it's just a bit clearer. So just a minor gripe, but I do prefer the text on the original one. But one thing that is generally better is almost everything else in terms of the actual Digivice VV, Vital Bracelet B experience. Um, the device itself is actually slightly thinner than the original. I believe they said it was a 10% thickness reduction, which you can quite clearly see just by looking at it, so that's pretty great. These side buttons are bigger, which is always a good thing. Uh, it makes it easier to press them. And also they have a proper cover over the DIM card slot rather than a plastic piece that you can actually lose if you're not too careful. So I'll show you that one. We've got the plastic piece here. So that's what that looks like. And you would take it out. So it's nice to have a proper rubber cover. Another thing which obviously makes the Fido Bracelet B better is the fact that it's uh, slightly water resistant, water and dust resistant. I think it's IPX4. I will put on screen uh, what kind of resistance it has, but that is versus the original Vital Bracelet, which didn't have any sort of protection. So if it got rained on, it was touch and go whether it would survive, really. Um, you know, if you put it in some water, it definitely wouldn't do well. So that is definitely an improvement on this one. So it's mostly, uh, you don't have to worry about sweat resistance is the main thing. So it's a, it's a significant improvement in my opinion. So let's talk about the software of the Vital Bracelet B, which is generally where there is an improvement. Uh, so the status is much more fleshed out. You've got a ranking now for how strong your Digimon is, and this is based on the uh, powering up you can do with exercise. And you've got a limit, which is how long uh, you have until this Digimon cannot Digivolve anymore. So there is a limit of 99 hours, I believe, or 100 hours. And if your Digimon hasn't reached Mega in that time, then they can no longer become a Mega. So that sucks. That is a downgrade, in my opinion. Uh, over here you've got the type, so we've got data and what stage it is as well, and its name up there. On the next page you've got different stats, so you have BP, HP and AP, and next to those you can see symbols of what exercise does which. So running is for BP, sit-ups is for HP, and punches is for AP. So there's its default numbers, and then also you've got the uh, plus in yellow is what you have earned by doing these other exercises. If we go on to the next one, you can see its main stats. So at the top you've got its vital points, which is maxed out. We've got the number of battles it has won, the win percentage, which is 80%, and then PP are the uh, other points that you can earn specifically from doing squats, which I will talk about as one of the main downsides. So let's talk about training. So just like the original Vita Bracelet, you have four options for training. You have squats, 
crunches, punches, and dash. So only four options again. It would have been nice to have some more in here, but those are the ones that are included. Now, in terms of your Digimon stats, you can increase the stats depending on the type of exercise you do. So BP, which I think is battle points, can be increased by doing sprints, HP by doing crunches or sit-ups, and AP, which is by doing punches. And to Digivolve, if I go back from this, to Digivolve, you need PP, and you can only earn PP by doing squats. This sucks, quite frankly. In With the original Vida bracelet, you had those same exercise options, and the number of points that you needed to Digivolve into a certain Digimon was entirely based on points from the training, which you could earn by doing any of the exercises or by linking to the Vital Bracelet Lab and by doing missions. Missions are gone, and the only way that you can Digivolve is through squats, and this is atrocious, in my opinion. This is a huge downgrade from the original, and I don't see enough people talking about it, because the other exercises therefore become completely useless unless you plan on using your Digimon competitively on the app. So say that you wanted the uh, final evolution from Angoramon's card, which I'll put on screen here. I believe that that requires 30 points PP in order to Digivolve into that form, which means you've got to do 30 squat sessions, which is, I don't know if you've tried to do 30 squat sessions in one sitting, but that's pretty uncomfortable. So you might say, oh, well, you can just spread it out over a period of a few a few days or, or something like that. Remember, you're also on a time limit. So you you only have 100 hours to reach Mega. And it might be 10 squats to get to Champion. It might be then another 15 to get to Ultimate. And then it could be 20 to 30 to get to Mega. You're gonna be, your legs are going to hate you <laughs> by the time you're done with this. And in my opinion, there is no reason for this change. I understand linking the different exercises to different stats and doing different things, but I feel as though you should get a point towards evolution from every training exercise. Like, otherwise you have just limited functionality, which is awful. Now, one thing to mention, so if you use a normal Vital Bracelet DIM card, so for example, if I were to use, what have we got here? True Shadow How, right? If I was to insert that into the Vital Bracelet B, and I did some training, I would get an evolution point for each of these, for every single one, because that's how it used to work. But on the new ones, you have to do squats, and in my opinion, that is a massive downgrade and has made this quite frustrating. Honestly, I don't do 30 squats if I need to do 30, uh, 30 lots of 20 seconds, mind you. It's not just 30 squats, it's 30 squat sessions. Um, I sometimes do other actions, so for example, do reps with dumbbells, for example, or even doing sit-ups, it t tends to accept sit-ups as a squat as well. There are ways around it, but in my opinion, that is a downgrade from the original. Moving on, we have the adventure mode. Now the adventure mode is interesting on this uh, Vital Bracelet B with the new DIM cards, because you get to see what Digimon you're gonna face and things like that, and you get a nice little icon, so if I choose that, you see you've got this nice background here, which is really nice. That is an improvement, granted. Um, one thing that isn't as good with the adventure mode with the new DIM cards, the BE memories, is that when you complete the number of steps required for the next step, you don't automatically begin the battle. You have to actually press a button to wake your watch up and make them fight. And not only that, when you win the fight, you have to tap the button multiple times to make it start the next fight. Now, the reason why this sucks is because if you are out on a walk or a run, you have to keep checking your watch to see if you've hit the, the step requirement. And then you have to stop and ch watch the battle because you might need to interact with it again. With original dim cards and original vital bracelets, it would all just happen in the background. You know, you could go on a three kilometer run and by the time you get home, everything has already transpired. You know, you've won three battles, you lost one, and you're halfway towards the next goal. With this one, if you didn't look at it for, again after setting off, you wouldn't have even done one battle. It's just an unnecessary addition 
uh, and it has made the experience worse in my opinion. One thing that is nice is that you can store up to I think four or five characters in backup so you can see I've got one, three, four, five. This one's just your avatar, it's just a, it doesn't really mean anything, you can't change anything. Um, but yeah, you can have up to four or five in backup, which is much nicer than the uh, previous one where you could only hold, I believe, one in backup and one in uh, in memory. So if I can swap to this one at any time, even though it's a different DIM card. There we go. And now you can see I've got my rabbit friend out front. So that that is really nice. It essentially means you're holding multiple DIMs in memory at the same time, and you don't have to plug the DIM back in as you saw me do it there. That is definitely uh, an improvement. Uh, connectivity, this is just connecting it to the app. We'll talk about the app briefly, but nothing really to say here. System settings, uh, again, nothing amazing really. It's all the same sort of stuff as before. One thing that is definitely an improvement is the sound effects are quieter on this one. Uh, on the original, just like this one, the only options for sound effects were on or off. So it is really nice to actually have quieter sound effects if you're going to have that be the only options. Next up is memory. So just for putting another memory uh, DIM card in here and registering it to the uh, to the product. And then power to turn it on or off because there isn't actually an off switch on this one, um, which is just for water resistance. Uh, to turn it on, you just press and hold this one for a few seconds. So some good and some bad. But I would say, for me, the two main downgrades are around training and the fact that you have to only do squats uh, in order to uh, get the power points to level up, and also the adventure mode, having to interact with it every time instead of doing it in the background is definitely a downgrade. Now, one other thing to talk about are the actual B memories themselves. So the memories look pretty cool. I do quite like this sort of like... 90s see-through plastic color design just reminds me of the old Game Boy Colors and Max and things like that. So I, I have a few of the dims here. Um, I've got the 25th anniversary pixelated one, which is really nice, and the Imperial Dramon uh, pre-order bonus for the uh, Digivice VV. And then I've also got the Gammon and Goromon and Jellymon. Uh, these two came out separately. So the actual dims themselves do actually look nicer than an original DIM. If you compare it to Dynasty of the Evil, I think the new ones do look nicer. But what is definitely a downgrade is that they do not include cards anymore. So originally, with the original Fire Bracer, as you should know if you're watching this video, you would receive this. You get this nice credit card shaped thing, which holds the DIM card in there. You've got artwork of the main Digimon on it. It says the name of the DIM card. And this was really nice, and they included uh, later down the line these dim card wallet things. Um, I've already forgotten the name. Holster, I think is the name. It's been a while. <laughs> and uh, that included a place to put the cards and the dims, and you could slot them in together like this. And it looked really nice. I've got Lady Devimon on the back. Um, so this was a, a really nice way of storing them, and it, and it made it feel a bit more of a substantial purchase. You know, back back then, depending on where you're buying DIMs from, you could be paying anywhere from 10 to 20 for a DIM card. Um, and then these days, you're paying probably 15 and up just for this. It just comes in the cardboard. You've got a little, little thing which is easily broken or lost. Just doesn't feel as substantial to me. So in terms of the actual product, I would say that uh, it's not as exciting. So that is a shame. Uh, so the last thing that I wanted to talk about is the mobile apps so we're going to talk about that now okay let's talk about the app so this might look a little bit different to what you are used to if we just scroll back this is the vb lab if i just open that up this is what you're greeted with if you try and open the vb lab now you get an api error so the service for the vb lab application was actually shut down uh, i believe at the end of feb or middle of feb something like that so any Digimon that you had in the VB Lab are gone. This is atrocious. It would have been less of an issue if Bandai had allowed us to transfer from this service to the new one, but they didn't. Instead, you had to, one by one, take your old Vizal bracelet, because only the old ones work with the old, uh, with the old app. You transfer a Digimon onto this. You would then have to transfer it to the new app and then continue doing that. The process for each one would take about five minutes, 
and if you were like me and you had quite a lot of Digimon, it was a very clunky and frustrating process. So the fact that they did this in of itself is atrocious, in my opinion. If we go back to the actual Arena app, this app is worse. Now, if you actually enjoy the battles and you get into the whole battle system, which I don't, in all honesty, then it is superior because you can actually battle other people and the actual act of battling is more interesting and there's more to it. But I'm coming at it from a uh, Violet Bracelet enthusiast who just likes to collect the Digimon and raise them. In my opinion, it is worse. For starters, any Digimon that have come from an original Vital Bracelet instead of from the BE are completely separated. So if you see down here, it says BE and it has a picture of a Pulsemon. If I tap that, you get presented with Select Your Device. So we've got the B, the Vital Hero, and the Vital Bracelet series. If I were to go Vital Bracelet, and then choose Digimon, and confirm this, I'll try to, you'll get to witness the uh, particularly long load times, which isn't helping uh, doing much in its favour, in all honesty. <laughs> so I'll wait for that to, uh, to finish what it's doing, in your own time. Come on. Not asking for much. Here we go. And you will see that the Digimon that I have here are completely different to the ones in the other menu. So if I go to the Assign menu, which is where you get to see all of your Digimon, you can see I have all of these Digimon from older DIM cards, which were transferred over from the VB Lab. They are segregated from my other Digimon. And it makes sense in a way because they don't have the new abilities and the stats like the other ones do, so if I press and hold on this one, it's not going to let me do it, let's press and hold on this one, there you go, you'll see, um, oh, it's just very slow, my my lord, um, you can see there's no ability and its stats are all blanked out, so it, it, it is, there is a good reason for separating them in terms of the battles, but actually having them in two places is very frustrating and it essentially means that even if you transfer them all over, you can't really use them and you're just going to have to raise them again if you want to have them in the uh, in the B section, which sucks. Um, let's go back and have a look at one of the other things that is really rubbish. And I don't mean to come across as too negative, <laughs> but, uh, but I am disappointed and frustrated and I had, to, I had to air this out somewhere. So if we go into the codex, you can see that the codex is completely separate. In here, we only have the DIM cards, which are in the vital bracelet section. So all of my progress that was made in the VB lab, where I was making my way through every single one and completing the adventure mode on every one that I had, is all completely gone because it's segregated from the rest and I have to go into the B section and have a look at that. So let's go into there. Once again, waiting on the loading. I don't know what they've done to make this app so much slower than the original. It's almost impressive. All right, let's change this to Vibrate B. You see you've got these other options, Demon Slayer, My Hero Academia, etc. Not 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 really interested. Let's go to Digimon. And you can see completely different Digimon. If we go to the codex, completely different codex. It's very disappointing. So on top of the app being slower, there's other things which are not included in this app. There's no item store, like in the original, where you could buy uh, things to increase your Digimon's vital points, or you could buy things to make them stronger in battle. There's, there's nothing like that in this application. I would say that the app is a downgrade from the original VB Lab. And so on top of the disappointment with the B itself, it has made the experience much worse for me. So there are my thoughts on the Vital Bracelet B and how Bandai, for me, has kind of ruined the Vital Bracelet experience. It's much more of a chore uh, having to make these, uh, you know, adjustments to how I used to use the Vital Bracelet. The product is inferior in some respects, but superior in other respects. One thing I haven't touched upon is the Digimon that you can get in a... Uh, B memory instead of a, a regular dim card you can get more Digimon and more branching paths and that is that is good that is better um, but I have enjoyed using the Digivice VV the uh, the Vital Bracelet B less than I have enjoyed using the Vital Bracelet
maybe it's just because this was my first one, so it's a bit more nostalgic, but I've found things to be a lot more frustrating and difficult with with this uh, vibrator B. One thing that I will shout out, however, is that I do find that using original DIM cards on the Vibrator B is actually an improvement. I prefer using original DIMs on the B because the issues around training, uh, not giving you points unless you do squats, is completely resolved. The issue around adventure battles not continuing once you have reached the step limit is resolved with the old ones. So actually using the original uh, DIM cards with the Vibrator B is a good combination. And if you're in the market for one of these, I would still recommend picking this one up because you can't use the VB Lab anyway. So the glory days of raid battles and community and all that kind of stuff is it, it, gone, unfortunately. Whether it's brought back, I, I couldn't say. If you, But if you are in the market, you're going to have to get this one and work through some of my frustrations. Maybe you guys have uh, found ways around it and I'd love to hear from you in the comments what your thoughts are. But for me, I'm not as satisfied with where these products are going. And I'm not wearing this every day anymore. Um, sometimes I'll go a week without doing it and I'll, I'll put it on my wrist and get something up to mega and then put it down again. It's not as exciting as it used to be. I haven't been keeping up with buying the new DIM cards and there's multiple reasons for that, but that's where, where my thoughts are with this. So thank you very much for watching. Sorry for a bit of a negative video. Uh, it's very unlike me to have a video like that, quite frankly, but I hope you found it informative. I'd be interested in hearing your opinion, so thanks very much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video.